Crazy Mike, crazymikesapps.com, with an iPhone app demo for The King of Streets by MNML Apps. This application is in the games category and works best on an iPhone or iPod Touch, currently sells for only 99 cents. Common sense and savvy negotiating skills are required to come out on top in the King of Streets, where you buy and sell items daily to pay off your debts throughout the eight levels of gameplay. This game is based on a 80s arcade classic, loosely, where you buy and sell high and low, and you'll show you that in this game. So currently I'm on level 2 in San Francisco. Each city represents a different level. You'll play through to Moscow and Milan and so on. Tap on there to begin the game. It's going to pick up where I left off. So you can see that I'm on day 16. I have $38,000 in cash, but I've got a lot of debt. I can't pay my debt off till I get more cash than debt. To do that, though, we go to the dollar sign there and tap on that dollar sign. You know, if I go in here, you can see I can tap on pay debt. It isn't working because, well, I can't pay off my debt. Now, I can do something else here, which is rob the bank. Again, this is a turn-based game, so that's what this is. I'm going to rob the bank, and it works out sometimes good and sometimes bad. This time, it wasn't so bad. I didn't get arrested, but if I keep pressing it, uh, I got arrested that time, and if I press it again, well, I, I actually earned no, I got arrested again. This time I had to pay 44000 So you can see how it racks up. I earned 16000 So again, you can't just sit there and keep pressing it because now you can see that my debt is much worse. I owe a lot more. I did make a little money off the bank robbery, but again, it's all fun and games, and it's in a game. Remember that. Now, we can check my backpack out to see if I have anything to sell. I have 60 vases and two watches. So we can go over here to the sell, and we're going to tap on sell. And we'll see what they're worth now. Okay, so the vases are sky high, which is great for me. I bought them at a dirt cheap price. We're going to tap on there. We have 60 to sell. And that's the way this game works. You have to kind of wait for your moment of opportunity and go back and forth. Some, see, now we've almost cleared enough to pay off our debt. And again, we're only 15 days into it because it's a 30-month cycle for the level. Um, and you want to come out on top which is very cool. We can tap on sell again and see what happens. There's a mini game that pops up that you have no control over and you'll see what I'm talking about. Sometimes you'll be forced to, to, to play that game. Uh, a lot of times you're going to lose and you're going to go to jail and have to pay to get out. So it says here, cops made a big cameras bust. Prices are outrageous. This is the time you want to sell your cameras if you have them because they're going for $9,000 a piece. Uh, we're going to go ahead and sell our watches by tapping there. And the watches will pop up, and we're not going to make a whole lot of money off them. That's not a big deal. Uh, that wasn't a big goal. But we do have money to play with and to um, pay off. Now, we've got debt there, which is still not cool. It's racking up interest as well. So we need to buy some more items here, uh, and we need to pay off our debt. Because once you pay off your debt, you're able to really earn some money. So you can see cameras have come down quite a bit. We've got quite a bit of money to spend here. So let's go ahead and let's do some... Uh, let's do some kind of negotiate some street savvy skills here and see what we can do. We're going to go ahead and buy 120 cameras and we're going to go back in there and buy some more things. And again, it's turn based so you have to be careful. We're going to come across, now you can see cameras are dirt low. This is the time to sell cameras. Watches have crept up. We're going to go ahead and buy some vases because the vases are reasonable. And we're going to go ahead, oh, we can't buy any because we spent it all on watches apparently. So we don't have any more cash to spend. We have only $413. So we can only buy watches. Let's just back out of there altogether. And let's go, we'll go and uh, try to rob a bank, I guess. Uh, you can see the uh, interest is really piling up, so we're in a bad state. So let's see what happens if we rob the bank again. Again, this is all for fun and games, it's not real. We're going to go ahead and pull a bank robbery, and what happened? The robbery have failed, so we didn't get arrested, which is good, because if we did, it would cost us money. We'll try one more time. Uh, we earned a little bit of cash, so let's back out of there and go back and see if we can sell what we bought earlier, the cameras, and see if we can make some money off of them. I'm not sure, but we're going to end up in that mini game. If you end up in the mini game, so the cameras now are, um, I think they're worth a little more than we paid for them, so let's go ahead and sell them all. So we're, <laughs> we still got less cash than we do debt. 
um, and it's unfortunate. So now we have to go back and buy again, trying to um, get ourselves cleared out of this mess. So watches, uh, we can really do well here because the watches are the lowest I've seen them. We're going to buy those, and we're going to definitely make some money on those. And the way it works is you got to buy those low items like that, but let's go buy some more because we still have a bunch of cash. And we'll go in here and see what else we can buy that's low. Uh, we'll go and buy some... Um, Let's go buy some shoes. And again, it's the turn pace game. The whole idea is to see uh, if you can come out on top at the end of it. Let's go ahead and sell our items and see if we can't clear and see where we're at. Uh, shoes are up a bit. Watches definitely are up. So we'll sell all of our watches. And again, if paintings are up, we're going to go ahead and sell all the watches. We should have made a nice little profit off that. It's three times as much. Uh, we still owe a bunch because we bought the shoes, so we'll just sell the shoes and see if that helps us. We didn't get the mini game, and when you get the mini game, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, oh, the shoes are a big win for us here. So we're going to sell 120 shoes. We'll go ahead and sell those, and that maybe actually put us over the top. No, because the interest is killing us. So back to buying. Again, the mini game will come out, and here it is. This is what I was trying to show you. It's very difficult. You have to tap on the police officer as soon as you can. So if you don't do it, like before that dark comes, you're done. You go to jail. You automatically bond out. Cost me three thousand dollars. Touch there. That goes against my debt. You can see I'm in bad shape because my my uh, the interest keeps racking up. I can check my backpack and see what I have. I don't have anything. I do have cash, so I could go and buy more and sell high, and that's what I need to do. That's it for the King of Streets. This has been another iPhone app demo by Crazy Mike. Until next time, see ya.